Never Hip a Lame Podcast. <laughs> Episode Never Hit the Lane podcast. That was RIPGs, which I guess today, Lil Lowe's featuring Nate. Shout out to Nate, shout out to Lowe's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you coming through, bro. Yeah, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, before we get into anything, I'd like to just say rest in peace, rest in paradise to my big brother, Tay Swingler. Um, we lost you this week. Yeah, rest in peace, flock. Uh, uh, Gustavo, we wish you, bro. White, White Oak legend, 650 legend. Like, appreciate everything you did on your time on this earth. You would definitely love, definitely be missed, bro. And big up to your family and everything. We're going to make sure everybody around you is good, man. Um, but we here. Back with another episode. Got special guest, Los. What's up with you, bro? How you yes, feeling? Sir, yes, good? Sir. I'm just cooling, man. Okay, okay. Just cooling on Sunday. Man. Jerry, I would ask you how your week is. Shut up. You <laughs> <laughs> this is Dre's game. Freaky. <laughs> Why, why is this the start off? Because <laughs> you being spicy. Bro, like. bro, I, I just want people to understand. Mm -hmm. I hate Tristan. <laughs> this is not, I'm not really his co host. I'm just here for my own content. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> All right, well, that's how he's done this week. He, he, how was your week? You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good, bro. You straight? Yep. All right, good. I'm glad you don't have that type of smoke for me. <laughs> Hello, E. How you doing? <laughs> I'm blessed, bro. Pretty, um, I'm happy you are, sir. <laughs> But nah, so we do have Los here, and we're going to get into a little bit about just your process of making music, just the things that you see and you do, especially the fact that um, you have dropped three projects in 2020, which for most people, because of COVID, was a interesting thing to do. Like, I think a lot of people didn't want to drop music, but clearly that didn't stop you. So first and foremost, like, what made you want to do that? Like, what made you still say, I'm still going to keep my head, I'm still going to keep putting out music regardless of this worldly situation. Shit, I just be having to get my shit off. Mm -hmm. I don't be having nobody to talk to the music. That's how you talk, or well, niggas like me, you know what I'm saying? Music is how you gonna talk, or, or, or get your shit off. Nigga can't hold nothing in his chest, so I feel like through the, through the COVID shit, nigga just record music. And a lot of shit y'all hearing is shit I was going through before COVID. Okay. So, so I'm so glad you express you yourself? Yeah, Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I put music together, whether it's before y'all hit or after I made it. It be old music or whatever. But when I put it together, you know what I'm saying? I listen to it, it calm a nigga down. Mm. Cause a lot of shit going on around these times. No, for sure. So it's almost like a therapy. Yeah, like just therapy. letting niggas hear your voice, and you yeah. just obviously hearing your own voice. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, most but most artists say that, but I mean, it really does come across in your music, like especially the topics that you have and just the story that you paint. Yeah, music is definitely therapy for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I think I'd rather listen to music before I talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'd rather hear some, hear some, you know, woo. Yeah, and then imagine. <laughs> that's why I talk to him. Like, okay. And then you? imagine when you making it. Yeah. <laughs> That you could sit down and really analyze it's it. It's a talent, bro. You feel me? So that's the type of shit I be on. So is it that you listen to your own personal music more than outside of it? Yeah. Okay. Because sure. you know, a lot of people love to say that. And then they'll be like, oh, but I heard such and such stuff. Yeah, because I be saying so much shit. I be having to listen to that shit and be like, damn, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's how I, I look at it as 
analyzing point of view and a medical point of view and fixing myself up too you know yeah now I respect it so with this last tape that you dropped um Trap Vibes 3 what was the main premise like what was the one thing you wanted people to hear or get across after listening to this this um this body of work shit that is still pain afloat you know no matter how much you think how good I look or nothing like that it's still pain mm -hmm. I had Baby Ock on my last cover mm -hmm. now I put him on this cover again mm -hmm. and then I added another nigga that died mm -hmm. you feel me so it's just still pain going on, but I'm learning to deal with it. If you listen to the music, I'm learning to deal with it. I'm getting a little happier, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Got a girlfriend, you know? So I'm learning to deal with that shit, but the music is the only way I can really get my shit off. And I make y'all happy too, because y'all like, dang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of this shit, I was like, you, damn, he said that? That's how he was giving it up? Oh, run that back. Um, but no, I appreciate it, because I think a lot of times, like you said, music is therapy, and I know for people like me, Ian, and Dre, we listen to music sometimes because we can't express ourselves. So to hear artists do the same thing, but also find expression in music is, is, is how it works out the best. It's how it shows that you really care about your craft. Um, when it came to features, like, was that something you thought of in the beginning, or was it more so like, whoever just sounds right on this track, I'm gonna do? Uh, I be looking at it, or well, features for me, I be looking at it on a, um, from a character point of view. Mm -hmm. I gotta fuck with your character. Like, I don't do a lot of features like that. Like, Nate, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's understood. Every time we go in there, it's cook up. But like, I gotta run into you and then be like, man, you a good nigga. Okay. Like Nas B. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Nas hard. Just seen like every up. time we go in there, it's, it's natural. Straight fire, bro. And it's fire. You just seen y'all did a video. Yeah. yeah, it's coming. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta be able to vibe with you too, off, not even off no music shit. Like, just some reckless shit. And then once we go in there, it's gonna come it's gonna organic. Come across, yeah. yeah, so that's how it be. I don't be chasing now. You could have a bigger name than me. I don't give a fuck. That's what you said. I don't shit. give. A, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you gotta be a real nigga. I respect it because I think sometimes, like you said, a lot of people just look for the big name and then yeah. they say, if I put I them on the song, it's gonna go. And it's like sometimes yeah. you have you put niggas. Not even sometimes, like mm -hmm. real nigga shit. You put niggas on big tracks. name niggas yeah. is clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That's real. That's what the name shit. right now is clown. So we just keep it cool. We vibe with who we vibe with. So, speaking of vibes, I need you to explain to us the story of your birthday where you're performing in that restaurant out the window. Because we talked about that earlier wait, off mic. You ain't, you ain't see that? What? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I heard it, but that was yes. sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said he got explained it because I had a uh, birthday party and shit, and uh, it was at my girl, my girl, mother and father. They got a restaurant, Trinity Grill. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to slide through there, but uh, the COVID made it hard for niggas to come in the joint. I already had like a hundred people in the spot. This nigga said a hundred in COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you were wild. Wow. Putting numbers on the board. <laughs> I already had like a hundred people in the spot mm -hmm. and it was like probably an extra 50 people outside. Fuck you! <laughs> had a shoe release. <laughs> <laughs> so my people, with my, my girl, mother and father, they wasn't trying to like, not to say it like that, but they wasn't trying to go risk it. Yeah. But my man and I was outside, like my childhood friends and shit like that. So when my man played the song, the DJ played the song, it's like, damn, I can't even go like that. These niggas outside right now. So I just grabbed the mic the whole time. I started talking to them. I'm like, bro, I'm going to get you in. And then the Why song. You while the song kept playing, I'm like, man, fuck it, these niggas not rocking. I'm about to just bring the party outside and fuck PG Police because he was standing there and do shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we just rocked it like that. 
my people was just happy to see me come out. You know what I'm saying? Once they knew that I came out, even though they couldn't come uh, come inside, <laughs> they just went home. They was happy. They was that shit that. That's all. I, I just want nigga to go home with a smile on his face nah, on my birthday. Because when I see it, I was like, this nigga is performing to everybody on the block. Yeah, everybody. Like the niggas in the restaurant are looking at him yeah, like, cluckers and, like, cluckers and all that. <laughs> yeah, niggas, <laughs> niggas <laughs> cluck you. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Uh, I said like uh, the people at South is looking like damn this shit crazy because like crazy, looking yeah. outside it looked like a sh- you it's like you watching a show from it's, like it's like you it's almost not <laughs> backstage yeah, like this nigga <laughs> brought the stage in front of you yeah. and now you got backstage they was, mad, they was mad at me about that though <laughs> <laughs> I mean you had a hundred in there then you, you had, had fifty you gonna fuck around bring more people <laughs> my man said fuck COVID <laughs> hey fuck COVID hey. <laughs> <laughs> COVID are doing bad right now nah, COVID definitely taking niggas out but yeah. now that 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 story I just had to get you to tell on here because I think when I seen it I was like this nigga just said fuck everything else and I'm still have a show and you niggas not gonna be able to tell me nothing about that shit what I supposed to do though but most niggas you know most niggas don't think about it like most niggas is for self like this is that last year excuse me birthday only one day. yeah you know what I'm saying <laughs> like that's the selfish you wake that, up the it, next day nigga gonna see you like bro you ain't let me in <laughs> <laughs> come on bro you know, so I like, that, yeah, you're right. That's a lot of questions to be yeah, answered the next yeah, day. Like, come on, bro, I came out. I was in the cold for you. I Niggas outside, nigga. You should have got here early. <laughs> that's on you, nigga. That's, that's how you going to tell your back? Y'all, <laughs> you should have got there. <laughs> that ain't my problem. I'm going to bring it outside, but then what was your time to call? That's on you. <laughs> they should have came, came with you. No, you should have got there earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. People was out there, I ain't going to lie. They come with me. from like 7.30 to 1, and people was out there. 7.30, you heard that? 7.30. Like, Hey, <laughs> damn, bro, that's not rocket science. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? I'm outside in the cold, but ain't gonna get me in. No, <laughs> get there on time. <laughs> you be one of the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at that time you'd have been one of the ten. <laughs> you'd have been one of the ten. One of the ten. Hey, yo, a nigga would have been performing to five people. <laughs> COVID, bro. Six feet. Spread out. Yeah, <laughs> Spread man. out. That shit fucking up a lot of shit. I feel like we could be doing a lot more. If the COVID wasn't around, mm-hmm. me and my nigga Nate, we'd probably be giving all these shows. Oh, for sure. We'd be getting show money. We'd probably be on the road. But, you know, I'd rather take the stairs before I take the elevator. Mm-hmm. So everything mm-hmm. gonna be all right. So COVID gonna go, we gonna get right. So did you look at last year like a step back or almost like nah I'm just it's just giving me a chance to like retool up, recraft my shit? Nah man, we elevation. Mm-hmm. Last year I came last year what I did, I did I did like four tapes last year. Yeah. You you was not five, like five there. jokes. Yeah. Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? So I say it's all elevation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, when I say meanwhile, I drop five tapes. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I'm gonna do another five. Meanwhile, they're gonna flood the streets. Yeah. So it's all about elevation, bro. Y'all never look, even my mistakes. I look at my mistakes. It's like, yeah, that's what I did. We're gonna pick it up next time. So like, is your purpose always to just say? I'm going to drop as many tapes as possible, or do you ever think about, like, okay, damn, I might have hit niggas over the head a little too much? I hit niggas over the head every time. You know what I'm saying? I hit niggas every, over the head every time, every jump, every tape. every. I, I ain't going to lie, 2021, I just got on my cocky bullshit. You know what I'm oh, really? I can't yeah. tell that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just, I'm interested I just in that. got on my cocky bullshit. <laughs> like, you know I just what I'm saying? I got on my cocky bullshit. <laughs> I'm a humble nigga, but nah, I hit nigga in the head every time, bro. Every time you look at every tape, you look from the first Tri Vibe to fucking Tri Vibes 2 to Sincere Lior mm-hmm. to Cold Summer with Nate. Everything hit nigga in the head. Mm-hmm. There's a song on there that's gonna make you cry. It's a song on there that's gonna make you think about yourself. It's a song on there that's gonna make you think about the nun nigga. It's a song on there that's gonna make you think about your friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I'm about. I ain't never backtrack. I always look. True word. I just look at it. Just keep going, bro. Keep going. Keep going. There ain't never too much tapes, right? I, listen, I like it. I don't give a fuck. Play that shit. 
he be telling me slow down. I'll be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> that's, 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 see, that, that's what me and E different. I'll be like, man, if a nigga got that shit, fuck it, you hold If me, I slow it, down, the yeah. people's gonna be listening to this uh whack shit. <laughs> well, I'll say, wow. I know, like, the. Huh? The, 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 <laughs> he said, he said, he said, whack, he said whack shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, let niggas know. Nah, that's, there's a lot of niggas who. Who can't even match up to to Los's like shit from 08, I mean 2018. So that's the shit. But as far as you dropping, I feel like your brand, as long as you got that strategy behind that shit, you can drop whenever you want. But you know, it just nah, I it just is. be the type of shit I be on, right? Mm-hmm. Like I probably drop a tape. I could go in the studio one day and make one tape. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then drop that shit, and I'd be cool. But I'd be so cool that. Niggas outside be like, damn, Los, bro, come on, we need more shit. Oh, uh, okay. That's what it is. And I, right. and, and regardless of who listening to me right now, he's my folk. The street is my folk. So okay. you tell me drop some music. I'm a got to Yeah, I got to give it to you. Like, you tell me to do my so job. People, they ain't come drop the check, the label check on us yet. So <laughs> I got to just keep Flood the streets. Yeah, yeah got to keep flooding. Do you think then if you did get that label shot that you would change it up a little bit? Got to keep flooding. That's like. what I would say. Like, I would say that's what got you there. So yeah, fuck, like, yeah, at that yeah. point, you just tell the label, get a bigger bank account. Yeah. You know, fuck it. Thank hey, you. Tristan. Fuck it. Thank Shut the hell up. Fuck you it, know how <laughs> you know how these labels move, bro. Thank you for the bag. Thank you, yeah. Like, thank They're going to try to shelf him, bro. Like all labels, like most yeah, labels nah, do. No, nah, I already, I had been thought about that shit. I was like, man. They're going to try to shelf me, him. But yeah. guess what? We put that money up. Nah, yeah, fuck. You had to pay me to be on the yeah. show. <laughs> you got too much quality. Yeah. Niggas like me and Nate, like a nigga like Nate, you don't get shit like that mm-hmm. every couple of years. Yeah. You might not get that for the next Ten years after this, you see a nigga like him. You know what I'm saying? Sure, it comes in cycles. And then niggas don't really know Nate's story. Like he was really jai like the first nigga to start rapping around our way. You know what I'm saying? And from Riverdale, it's mm-hmm. a couple stars from out there. You know? And he was the first nigga to really like start pushing that mic in his hand. But he had a couple obstacles like we all do, and he stopped. And then I was like, damn, bro, we got to get back. So he got back, and since he got back, he been going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So shit, like, niggas like that, when you hear people like that talk, you're not going to get that for the next 10, 20 years. You know what I'm saying? That nigga may talk crazy. Me, I talk crazy. You know what I'm saying? My man, boo talk crazy. Look. Who man, it's a lot of people that <laughs> talk crazy. Lil Neek talk crazy. <laughs> Lil Neek, you're not gonna get these people for 10 years, 20 years, so you gotta appreciate these folks. You know what I'm saying? So, I being from DC, like, is it and being an artist, do you feel as though like that DC camaraderie or the fact that a lot of people say DC niggas don't want to work with other artists in the area, is that still, still a true statement or do you feel like it's starting to change now? No, it's true, but it's starting to change. It's true. Because it's shit that going on outside that people that's looking in on the outside not gonna be able to understand. Okay. That's why I shit go on how it do. You know what I'm saying? But it's starting to change though. Niggas are starting to get tired of the whack shit and they working together. I like that. Uh, I, I'm waiting to work with a couple niggas myself because I'm tired of the whack shit, man. I want us to come together and start. It's, I mean, it's a lot of talent in this area from just the music, the podcast, to what B and M is doing with the management, with Nas. Like, it's a lot of shit that niggas could tap into and really make shit work and make it as one of those cities like we always see in New York or Atlanta or L.A. And it's like we have the talent, we got the backing. It's just like you said, niggas just gotta get over that whack shit. Gotta get over the, the ego. That's no, what I look at it. It's not what happened. What you think? It's not what happened. What you think? Everybody got an ego. So you think niggas gotta go out and to come in? Yes, nigga. What the fuck? Everyone, no one wants to work with anyone in DMV. It's, I mean, I've seen it too many times. We've all seen it too many times. So it's like the only way you want to put yourself on a, on a bigger platform, you gotta move out. LA, Atlanta, New York. I understand why you said that. I feel like I'm on some shit like that too, though. Mm-hmm. But I'm not on some move out shit. I'm on some shit like. Home, home already taken care of. Yeah, you know like what I'm saying. Yeah. We gotta go get to them people. Oh, okay. And then we gonna come back, back home. home. Yeah, bring them back take home. Care yeah. home. I got you. I got but you. a lot of niggas, I understand what you're saying. Though a lot of niggas back home, niggas ain't fucking with each other. Yeah, no, nah. no, nah, niggas, niggas ain't fucking yeah. with each other and it, at I mean, all. 
it is what it is, bro. At, at, this, uh, at this point, at all, uh, yeah, it is. You, what you, it you know, is. you try to, you know, me, I don't change force, it, but I mean, it's not gonna change. I don't force no vibes, bro. That's what people try to do. That's yeah. the main thing people try to do. You can't force a connection. If it's meant for you, it's meant. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's 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 for real. So you already in twenty twenty one. And you say you like the flood. So when, when's the next one? Because I know you already planned it. Damn, my man came here. He, just... he said he flooded. Yeah, so I know he got nice. the idea in his head. Yeah, yeah, he got the idea, but <laughs> that idea be the idea to him. Damn. I got the bir- birds of words uh, mixtape coming. But right now, I'm just I'm just it's paying pictures. pictures. <laughs> I'm just paying pictures, giving niggas these visuals and shit. But birds of words on the way. Cold Summer 2 on the way. Exclusive, exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, we really got to get you yeah, yeah. Right here. Oh, I never blame. <laughs> I might get my nigga a drop on you. You got to. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> oh, I never blame. Almost <laughs> just told us. Oh, this is He's my job. I'll take I mean, sure. I can get the stockbroker voice. <laughs> uh, that's easy. Think like I'm a white man. Let me take you to Deep Creek, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We ain't never gonna let this down, bro. I swear. I blame you. I blame you. Like, like you see, we're gonna, we're gonna good trajectory. You know, yeah, take his ass back to Deep Creek, dog. I hate you, Tristan. I love you too, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Um, but nah, so at this point, like this, obviously, like you said, being from D.C., and I'm sure everybody is aware of what happened last week um, as far as them crackers on them steps and in the Capitol building. So me personally, I just want to see, like, as somebody being from D.C., and I obviously I don't care what your political affiliation is, but just seeing what that did to your home or that's the area that you call home, like, how did that make you feel to just see that type of privilege come out in the forefront. <laughs> I ain't gonna get into it. I feel like, dog, that shit's a joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Black niggas, true word. Black niggas, 20, 30 black niggas come to the capital on that type of time, we get struck down. You live in two different Americas. But bro. it's a different type of time right now. So, I ain't a political nigga, man, as long as my people's straight. And we not straight, so we got a lot of things to do right now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. We got a lot of things to do, bro. Niggas got to start getting more active. I wish me as a person, I could get more active as far as voting and being able to speak out because I'm a, a, a friend of on certain tips, so I can't really do what I want to do. But I feel like niggas should start speaking out. If you got a voice and you in the street, man, Speak up so we can get a change because that shit is that's, that's some weird shit for white people to walk up to the Capitol and start hanging yeah, off in, the roof, like let in climbing the wall, yeah, nigga dropping <laughs> arrows in the office, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like nigga was had his feet up on yeah. Nancy Pelosi desk, yeah. <laughs> chilling, Dro- dropping arrows, yeah, yeah. taking her mail I'm like it was nothing. <laughs> they get shocked that them niggas on a no fly list, and like, all of them niggas getting back. Hey, it's on both. <laughs> freedom of speech, nah, freedom of speech is voices, words, nigga. Y'all committed crimes, y'all broke windows. I ain't gonna lie, if we was to go down there, bro, we would have made it past the steps. <laughs> We made, it. made it past nah. the steps. <laughs> like, it so wouldn't it have been possible. Fu- it's fucked up like that. Like, white people, like, not to say it like that, because I... I oh, don't say it like that. I fuck with all white people. Like, white I, fuck people with, I, fuck with my, I fuck with my folks. Yeah, like, but it's like, it's different, because, like, them, not to say it like that, but they gonna get federal probation and probably be let go. Mm-hmm. Per usual. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give you one chance to fuck up. But if it was a black nigga that did that shit, bro, he'd send you out the feds. That's all federal shit. shit. That, and that might just be the... the and, and you probably five years yeah, minimum. Yeah, that might be the, the, the happy location for yeah. your ass. Because mm-hmm. niggas could just shoot your ass on the spot. Yeah. Um, Which so, would most likely happen. Yeah, exactly. It's, diff- it's so different. If you live to even get to the fed time, shit. That, look, look at how we say that shit. That's a win. It's because you kept your life. <laughs> That's a win. That's wow. You know what I'm saying? When you see other people do that That's shit, win. I know for me personally, I just said at that point, I never want to hear another person tell me about privilege. Like, I never want to see another person tell me that it doesn't exist. Um, like, you just can't tell me at that point. That was put on national television. That was put on Twitter. That was put on IG. And a lot of those people, they said that. And it was like, how you going to just do that shit? Like, how you going to tell me of all people, nah, yeah, that shit different. That's why we take our privileges. Real niggas gonna take their privileges and we gonna make our voice heard through this music. You know? No, for sure. So that's why these niggas be talking in rah rah shit. 
I just wanna let them know what's going on now. So is that a thing for you? Like when you hear other niggas and you like, mm, I don't, I don't believe you. Is that, is that what comes across, or is it just more so like? It's just like you said, it's that whack shit. Yeah, we look at a nigga and you know we look at you up and down. We know who you is, man. You can talk all that shit all day, fly shit all day, fifties, hundreds, cool, Glocks, cool, all that. <laughs> <laughs> we know you, bro. Smell no fool, bro. We know you. We know you. We know you. Oh, a lot man. of niggas know what's going on out here. Mm-hmm. A lot of the ri- a lot of rivals make that shit look and sound cool. It's, it's betraying a lifestyle, you know. But it's it was certain niggas that stand on what they talking about, and certain niggas that sit on what they talking about. Mm-hmm. A lot of sometimes yeah. niggas the best storyteller niggas try to set it from the bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the fucking bench. <laughs> <laughs> Front row seat to the game and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh man, but nah, um, I appreciate that because honestly, I think a lot of times in this particular genre of music, you have. What you think about that? What you think about niggas talking about that? I can tell you. I can see you listening. What you think? Hold on, let me see who I am. Oh, what you think? They gonna come to me. I want to know. I'm just listening. Nigga, if a nigga come to you and you know who he is and he. Oh, I know a lot of niggas like that. He got a 50 and he trying to go to Pablo and get a 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we dealing with. So we just got to keep giving them the real. Oh, man. man. We being honest. I don't, listen, I'm like you. Like, I got to see your character outside of what you're telling me on the mic. Because I feel like it's too many niggas that can sit there and tell somebody else's story and just put I instead of he. Um, and that's really what it is. Like you can, like you said, you can tell by a nigga how you move, how you act. Just his, his swagger, just you know, just his overall being. That it's like, okay, that nigga. Because most niggas that's dealing with that shit, that's talking about that shit, like you said, it come from pain. It don't come from a glorification. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you hear it in a nigga voice, you can hear it's almost like a, like a, hey, don't be me type shit. Like a, like a warning. Like this is what I had to go through. This is what instead of most niggas that's talking about it. Like yeah, like he said, went to Pablo. And now he, oh, I'm giving him bread. Like come on, bro, that, that's no. You're not gonna hear that. Shut, shut up. No. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that. So for me, that's why and Dre always makes jokes about that shit. Like the niggas I listen to is very selective just because of how that's how my ear is. It's like yeah, I don't believe too. that you did that shit. Even out here, I don't listen. I ain't gonna lie. I support out here to the fullest, but mm-hmm. I don't listen to a select few niggas out here. Like, cause I'm not listening to no cap shit, bro. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. if I know you done got slug out, drug out, all that beat up. Robbed, victim. <laughs> I ain't listening to you, bro. So we got some good people out here that's making good music For and they sure. trying to push the community. So we gonna keep pushing them. Child victim ass niggas. No. <laughs> no victims in 2021. No victim rappers in 2021. None. Mm. So is there ever like how do you change? Like if what if say one of them victim rappers did come at and say, hey, I want you on a song. Is you gonna politely say no or is it just a bag? <laughs> <laughs> is it? You need the bag. Okay. That's, your hand, that's, your, that's the answer you gave me. Yeah, that's it. Man. I'm a suspect. What I look like with a victim. You <laughs> gotta give me your bag. Right? Yeah. All right. Hmm? I need the bag, bro. Uh, <laughs> or we could just cancel it like that and you just keep being a victim. <laughs> One or the other. Yeah, we ain't for bro. I feel like a lot of niggas out here be forcing it. Like, you might not even fuck with a nigga and you do a song with him just cause. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mm-hmm. on that. Back to that name shit. Not on that. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta keep it real with each other at the end of the day. That's why I only make songs with Nate, my fat boy. That nigga, that's my boy. <laughs> we don't be lying to each other or none of that. We don't be on no cap shit. I know he not on no cap shit. I know. A lot of my my niggas from my section that I rap with, not on that. No, not lying about nothing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be lying, bro. The best players make the best storytellers. Yeah. trying to tell you. Star 5 gonna not even say nothing to you. The music made me start saying shit to niggas. And even when I be saying shit to people, you gotta go dig extra deep. Like, you might have to play a song three times and be like, damn, that's what he on? Yeah. What he really talking about? That's what we try, we try and make people think deeper. 
make people not think the regular shit, think out the box. You see these niggas talking about shooting people and shit like that, but we try to make you think, yeah, why the, Why is these niggas doing that? Mm. You got to think about why they doing that. Why these people's on the street and talking about going to Harley Pablo and them. You know? You don't know why. You just know that they doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's what we on. That's all we on. Just making real music for y'all to think about. I appreciate it, honestly, too. That shit. You're not portraying it as a as a good thing. You're portraying it almost like this is my life. It's what I had to go through. It's like, and if y'all niggas gonna follow that, this is what's gonna follow. Yeah, with church you. on Sunday. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Church on Sunday. That's like the preacher just telling you what it is. Even the preacher fucked up. But he's just telling you what it is. It's, it's, you know? it's like I'm guiding you. Yeah. You ain't got to listen to me. You ain't got to follow me. That's but you're going to understand this shit. That's all. Mm. That's all. So, when you first started rapping, did you have, like, major influences as far as, like, niggas? Maybe it was niggas close to you or even stars and shit. Like, who were those people that really made you tailor your shit or even influence your shit after it? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't start taking rapping shit. I mean, I was always rapping on some cool shit, but... Mm-hmm. Like when Baby Hawk died, you know, we was not even we. Were, I say me personally, I was like, damn, I gotta kick up, mm-hmm. cause I know what my man was going through personally trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I gotta kick up, man. I'm about to just rap, bro. I'm about to just go hard with this shit, no matter what. Nate too. I said, Nate, bro, come on, bro. You got you got to wake back up, and, and we just woke back up and we just start going crazy. I, that's probably my only motivation, my man, for real. Mm-hmm. Cause I was playing the back, I was supporting my niggas for real. Like, dude, uh, you know what I'm saying all my uh niggas that was rapping, little kid, all of them that I was just supporting my man and them for real, for real. Son, son, just whatever they needed me to do, I'd just be there. You know what I'm saying? But then taking losses after loss, like my man fighting the case right now. Baby Ark passed away, you know what I'm saying? Just a whole bunch of other shit just motivated me to just go hard with it. Mm. So it was almost like a, like a, not even like a cliche, but like a music was my outlet. Music yeah. kind of saved, saved me type shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. Music definitely saved me. I ain't had nothing else. Mm. And right now, the space that I'm in, I'm like, man, music, I, I'm happy I'm in that space because I don't really think about street like that I'm thinking about what could help me music music I love making music but I love telling y'all what about what I'm doing what I got going on what's going on outside I love making people think about what's going on love giving people a mystery <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so music definitely saved me I appreciate that nah no, for sure um Dre you got anything you want to ask Los? I'm good what current artist besides yourself that you listening to? Besides yourself, who are you listening to? What in the area? Yeah, just no, and just in general, like rappers, anybody. Who dropped that smoke? This guy ain't preface that. I ain't gonna lie, nah, cause this niggas with that smoke. I be listening to a lot of, lot of people though that you probably wouldn't expect. I fuck with Jack Boy. I fuck with Kodak Man. Mm. Jack Boy, he just dropped some smoke. I fuck with uh, Rilo. Fuck with Dirk. Rodriguez. Shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I fuck with Dirk and shit. Yeah, Dirk. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk dropped some shit. That's nice. Dirk the new future. Dirk is what future used to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then uh, uh, and I'm still just listening to. I probably I still bumping that shit. I still bump in that shit in real life, but yeah. That's probably it for real. Dirt, Nate, and that's it. I listen, I be listening to reggae. I be listening to a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, I be listening to a whole bunch of shit. It's a healthy list, healthy, healthy list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Nah, so, I mean, for the most of the artists that you listen to, it's kind of like the ones that's also in your field. It's not yeah. like... Yeah. Like, is that hard to, not even say it's hard, but, like, is it hard to listen to someone else talk about that perspective? And then when you come to talk about yours, do you find yourself, like, maybe not even um, copying and mimicking, but just, like, hearing the same type of flow in yourself? Mm-mm. No, it's a story different. Story different. 
inspiration is cool. I ain't gonna lie, like, niggas I listen to, they inspire me all the time, but the stories is always different. And the way we put shit together is different. So I wouldn't say it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I listen to a lot of like I listen to a lot of music, but like if a nigga was the little you wouldn't even know I was from the DMV for real. I don't sound like none of these niggas. <laughs> I don't do that shit that niggas be doing, none of that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That one take, that one punch and shit, one line. <laughs> I don't do that. Man. I'm going for eight bars. <laughs> Before I stop punching that, I'm going eight off the top. No writing. You know, and I listen to, I listen to Jewels. I listen to a lot of shit, bro. Dipset. Uh, Heard that, huh? Yeah, I listen to a lot of shit, you bro. You fucking cook I'm just letting let, 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 you know. <laughs> I just want you to make sure you heard that. Oh, which I had a beef about the set. No, I just, I just no, let him tell us. This nigga just be talking. set is serious. <laughs> listen, New York. He's talking about New York. I know, he's from Harlem, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you niggas know no one said nothing. I just want niggas to know. You hear that, though, right? Like, nigga, we get it. You're from Harlem. Nothing talking shit the hell up. a state thing. Buffalo, too, nigga. <laughs> the niggas from <laughs> hey, no, hey, hey, no one said nothing, <laughs> bro. Listen, the, listen, we listening to Benny, listen, Benny Westside, West Conway. Conway. You oh, see how it all yeah. come yeah. through? You, you, know, you see how it all yeah. come through? <laughs> niggas didn't say not a <laughs> word. Hey, and, and, and you heard that, right? <laughs> listen, now nah, I've been running around New York since I was a young. Like see? me and my mother, the only people down here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me and my mother moved down here when I was like five years old. But the rest of my family all up top. And to keep me out of trouble, my mother sent me up there every year. Every vacation. Summer joint, winter time. You know what I'm saying? When I got to like 13, I was like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, my friends is out here. But, I, but I've been had the up top, like, everything that's going on up top. I've been had the vibes in me. I've been always knew what was going on. People, my cousin and them, I've been listening to Dip, I've been listening to Shine, mm. I've been listening to Cam, I've been listening to 50, I've been listening to Raekwon, I've been listening to a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't really sound like nobody. Yeah, I, I feel like that's yeah. also why you, like, I say, obviously you, you, you're the voice of the streets to me, like you and Nate, like I give this kind of duality of like what the streets is because like they's off that more soulful rap and you got mm -hmm. this you got this like trap sound that's mixed with like pop and shit like this is kind of crazy bro like hearing the whole story and the sound of it because you really yeah, don't sound like check. nobody <laughs> like you don't sound like nobody and that's really the good part which like, i think the voice of the streets mean though because there's a me, lot of people saying nah, that I, there's i'll say around here like the dmv wise i'll say nas Y'all two, uh, it's nobody mainstream, I'm yeah, crazy like that in this area. It's nobody mainstream, yeah. There's legit nobody that yeah. no one. I feel like most of the streets is really somebody who who has the ears to the streets, who who can tell the who can tell a story that people can actually understand and feel. Mm -hmm. If you if you're if you've been around some people, you will know what's going on, mm -hmm. and you don't got you know, you know, the whole feeling, you know, the vibe. So it's like it's kind of crazy. Like, it's, yeah, like to piggyback off what you're saying, like you got to think about it in this area, it's one foot in, one foot out. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who is obviously doing music, like they wake up, they eat, breathe, and that shit. But a lot of their influences, a lot of their men, <coughs> a lot of their homies is still in that area. They can still go to certain places. And yeah, this might be somebody who's making music, but you still see them as a human being. You still see them as a person. But you look at the niggas, like you said, in Chicago, where they, they say that a lot too, but theirs is a little different. It comes off in their music where these are now people that are retelling the things that even got them here. Yeah. But they're still able to do the same yeah. thing. So Voice of the Streets, to me, honestly means someone who can still be in there and not do none of the nut ass shit of feeling like they have to have people around them like they can just walk up a block and just be good they can just be in there they can go back to their mother's house and not have to worry about doing all the other necessary shit that we see every day that most niggas have to do that's that's what it is to me it's like you still yeah. a person you that's still all understand we doing. that's mm -hmm. all we doing we're just speaking for the, for the niggas that's coming from right there Niggas that's talking about all that sh that not even talking, you ain't even gotta talk. We're gonna talk for you. Mm -hmm. But shit that we talking about everybody that's going through that shit, nigga that's going outside all day, standing on the corner, you know what I'm saying? Nigga that's working that computer, nigga that working that pistol, mm -hmm. girl that's getting that money, whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? We oh, speak it. We speak it. It's not. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> Whatever, man. We just talking about just trying to get out. Because ain't nobody got no soul spoon over here, man. I'm not going to lie. But I, we trying to get it, though. I ain't going to speak down on soul yeah. spoon. I get that motherfucker. It's up. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? We ain't all my folks going to have this soul spoon. But, yeah, we just speaking for people that's been through that shit, bro. And I had a lot of people going, nigga going to speak that shit. And you might think that he represent, but he not. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga might be talking a whole bunch of bullshit, cloud your mind up the whole time though. He ain't never did that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit, bro. I can tell you. I can tell you about sitting in the coral. You got a nigga fucking about to tell you the rest of your fucking life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got a nigga. I had a nigga Spanish nigga. He ain't even know how to speak English. Nigga about to tell me if I'm guilty or not. Mm. So you got to speak for people like that. That's all. That's all we doing. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't push, we ain't, we ain't talking down on the booty shaking niggas though. If you make booty shaking music, that's cool. <laughs> Keep doing that. That's needed too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to go to the party, bro. So. <laughs> if you make booty shaking music. If you make booty shaking music, that's cool. You got the right amount of sack, we might could do a song. Yeah, I shake ass to They got to. <laughs> nah, but they be shaking their ass to the trap shit too. They shake their ass to the voice of the streets. You put a nice beat behind it, they gonna shake their ass to that shit. Yeah, man. But he right though, like, everybody, there's something for everybody. You just gotta weed out what you wanna listen to, weed out what you wanna, you wanna hear and shit. Um, damn, so, before we get out of here, Dre and Emmanuel, uh, specifically Dre, you might get your hundred early. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wow. A, I'm yeah. just, I'm a, you, you want to do this now? Nah, yeah, I'm going to just come on wax and say that shit. Oh. We had a bet on wax, so I'm going to just come on. You can, you, can, can you indulge? No, there, there's, a new, there's a new person here. That nigga, he give, that nigga that. give me two more months. No need to move on. No, I, I don't said need. We're not talking about you. He's averaging not, 29. That's, it. So that's why I said, I, this, this is what we talk about. Don't we talk about this shit? Yeah. When the nigga about to just let Dre have his moment, but he still okay. got to preface it. Okay, I'm You still got to preface it. If he give me two more months of this shit, specifically Los, because you're not here. So, me and Dre had a, a side bet that <laughs> I've never seen a nigga come off an ACL injury. Achilles. Achilles. I mean, Achilles, excuse me. And still be him, or even better. Talk about Kevin Durant. Talk about Kevin Durant. We bet a hundred that KD could average over twenty five. Right now he's currently averaging twenty nine. He's and going crazy. <laughs> he's going fucking crazy, right? Uh, niggas, he's niggas, going crazy. Niggas adding well, when hard. When you talk about that Achilles, and you know who else you gonna think about? Who? Kobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you saw it too, and that hurt me because I was yeah, we a huge yeah. Kobe fan. So I'm like, my goat couldn't even do it. Yeah. Why would I believe this yeah, nigga? Yeah, but it's, 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 but it's but two, KD, it's two yeah. different things. Dre, right? I don't watch basketball like a religion. I get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I get it. I understand. Yeah, okay. Don't don't do it. Don't worry. Uh, you want, just, I can extend it to nah, me, nigga. You got You got to respect. <laughs> but I respect it though. So that's he yeah. sat down the whole year. <sighs> and a half. Mm-hmm. You did what I'm saying. The nigga dropping almost. The nigga drop. 40 last night. Cool. 40 She's looking easy, bro. Easy shit. as shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, no. Let, let talk These away. niggas got James Harden, bro. Let yeah. go. They might win that shit. I don't know how that shit gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna work. Everybody 40 mm. piece. Bench get the rest. That's a bench player. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like three niggas average him, giving you 40 a night. That's that's, not that's, that's, that's already. <laughs> Not that's up. 80 with the two. <laughs> Nigga, you know, that's, you it. I don't got to play no more. Like, hey, y'all, y'all fuck with Clubhouse? Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I be in it. Oh, no, my flowers are still needed, bro. Don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> He switched the topic. Uh, hold on, hold on. Nah. <laughs> nah, I just yeah. wanted to ask because I just, I just had a nigga just invite me to a room talking about um, um DMV industry execs. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I do, because that's the same person that be inviting me to rooms <laughs> randomly. 
3 a.m. in the goddamn morning and shit. I respect um, that shit. Clubhouse to me is it's, it's like Twitter with audio. Some whores in this house. Dre, stop. <laughs> KD gonna shake that shit though, just to. Oh, I'm yeah. not worried. Uh, I ain't worried about but it. To end that so we can talk about that. Yeah. To I, end it? Nah. I literally said to end this. Nah, I thought Go ahead, Dre. Matter of fact, get your shit off, Dre. Go ahead, talk about it. Go ahead, bro. Come on, bro, because clearly you just don't want to get off. Go ahead, bro. I, I said this before. I'll say it again. Okay. Run me my honey. That's it. That's you got it. Fuck, you got nigga. Nigga, nah, no, I ain't done, nigga. Okay, nigga really questioned Kevin Durant. <laughs> Niggas never averaged less than 20 in his life. Niggas say he going to average less than 25. Nigga, shut dumb ass up. I'm dumb for believing Talk. a nigga can come back from a kid. Kevin Durant? No, he stop is doing nigga. Stop, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Hold on, hold on. I, right I was up. never worried. But stop. He I wasn't either. I was okay. never worried. That's y'all under... Listen, we've had this conversation before. We've already done it. But you just want I'm keep. worried about KD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you wouldn't have felt safe with nobody else making that bet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't try to nah. spin no nah, shit, nigga. Not. Nah, that's your, real, that's real right. shit. You're not going to not Okay, give that. me a player. Okay, besides LeBron? Yeah, I just said give me a player. All right, uh, Steph. Steph is off shooting. I can go with that, too. It's fine. He shoots the ball. Shoots. That's what he does. Yeah, I'll take so any shooter shoot. you're fine with. Yes, nigga. For if not, if you gave me, like, fucking... I don't know. Let's say Giannis. It wouldn't have worked because he's all off power. That I, that I wouldn't take that bet because literally all he does is fucking go to the rim. Can't shoot. I know without your Achilles, you can't really. Thank you. Can't really okay, win. Martin. Shit. I take that bet too because he can shoot the motherfucking shit too. I don't know. He be you take that bet? Harden. He be kind, bro. He, he can get to the foul line from. He can shoot. Yeah, but you Harden still has to go to the Harden is a shooter. He's a, he's a, he's shooter, a shooter, but he still go to the lane too. But most of his shit is and from the three. And he dribbles. Nah, but you got to keep it. You got to keep it. What? Harden is scared of contact. How are you scared of contact because you're going to the line all deep? That ain't <laughs> 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 He just gave me 30, 34, 12, and 14. Trying to be hot. Hey, 34, 12, and 14. So, <laughs> so it doesn't matter who, that they had to do that. 34, 12, and 14. <laughs> like, in the debut. But who, who, who do you hey, go against? Who do you go against? Who do you do that to? I, I don't care. The game was close. NBA players play basketball. Don't I, do that shit. What, don't do that the, shit. E, you're in the NBA for a reason. What do you mean? Not all of them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Every NBA player was OC in, co- OC in high school. Hopefully. So every... It, what do you mean, hopefully? What the fuck? Nah, hopefully. that's where... Every NBA hopefully. player was ridiculous in high school. Hopefully. No, 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 no. <laughs> he ain't lying. Dre ain't lying. Bro, right? every, NBA every NBA player was disgusting in high school. Everyone. Okay. Yes! Yeah. Now, like, now 90% super, of them. superstars. Thank you. That, yeah, okay, preface right, that right, shit. Because right. mm-hmm. I was about to name half the Knicks roster and tell you that they was OC in college. So, uh, so RJ Barrett wasn't ridiculous That's in high one. That Austin Rivers awesome. wasn't ridiculous in high school. Julius high, No, you said college. I said high school. I said high school. I said high school. Fuck high school, nigga. Everybody was in high school. I just made my point, bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. You just got to spin me? That's not a spin. If a nigga averaged 30, hold on, why he tried to spin me? No bullshit. No, let's do Austin Rivers, for example. Austin Rivers was a dog in high school. Name one thing he did in college. He was. Nah, he was He was a dog. He was solid in college. He was what? He, he was solid. Nah, he was in the dark. Kyrie played 10 games in college. Kyrie, What's your point? Can't tell what me, the fuck? Hold on, stop. You can't tell me nobody else in Kyrie's draft class is better than him. If nigga Clay Thompson in his draft class. Is Clay Thompson better than Kyrie? Kyrie, Kyrie no, Irving, no, no Kyrie. No one's Kawhi better. Leonard's in his draft class. Yeah? Yes, he is. He got drafted 12. Say something now. Is Kawhi better than Kyrie? Yes, nigga, what the fuck? I have to ask you. That ass is you. That ass is you. Listen. Jimmy Butler's in his draft class. Nah, he's not better than Kyrie. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Stop doing that shit then, nigga. But E, E, you see how he spun me, though, right? E, you see how he spun me. You for Kyrie. I'm going on. I didn't bring Kyrie in. You said Kyrie's only played 10 games. Okay. But you see how he spun me. He really spun me and said, oh, you said college. Yes, I swear to God, uh, dog. I'm not trusting You're no, crazy. I'm not trusting no nigga high school numbers. What? Not. What do you mean? Don't care what you did in high school. Oh, my God. Well, no, that's real. That's okay. okay. What you did in high that's school? Fuck. <laughs> Zion was a grown I ass man, body a little kid. Don't give a fuck, bro. And I ain't just talking about the NBA. Yeah. Don't care what you did in high school. Don't give a fuck. Niggas <laughs> get paid to ride the bench. Niggas be rapping about their high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I did in high school. Nigga, yeah. what? It's yeah. 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Reunion. Fuck, Fuck out my face. Life, but no, KD's, KD's nice. I get it. <laughs> KD got KD's nice. Yeah. Got three. Whoops. Got three. <laughs> <laughs> the the it. fuck? Nah, because you sat up here and slandered the fuck out LeBron. Shout I out to Class and KD got two rings, man. Facts.
Yeah. They ain't gonna talk about it, bro. When you get them rings on your finger, mm. talk to him. This is never come. Talk to him. Chip me, right? <laughs> then we show you that, yeah, that's what we was working for. Mm -hmm. They can't talk shit about nothing. Stephen A. suck dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, KD, you can't say nothing. That shit, you gonna right? talk about your uncle like Stephen that? Stephen A. Oh, know. that's your uncle. I, I don't know that nigga from Stephen a Stephen A. suck dick. Bro. I can, I can nah, stand him, but I don't know that nigga. Cause he hate, he hates KD for yeah, no he reason. Hate KD. That's who? I don't think it's a nah, hate thing. He, he, he had a whole couple. Wait, 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 wait. You know why he hate KD? C C C. I watch sports, so I know that's not true. Nah, that's why he hate KD because he try to. Report. I think it's that. It's that shit. It's trade. that media. <laughs> That's what it is. They do that every day. That's nah, nah. But he tried to do it like personally. Yeah. Like, yeah, I talked to KD. Yeah, yeah, that was a. That was a. That was. I know it. Do that. He'll I be know. like, yeah, I talked yeah, to somebody so from since, KD camp. That I'm not gonna name that sources. Name. Nigga, you ain't talk to nobody. <laughs> dude. Talk to the trainer. Like, fuck no. Nah, Steven ain't good for that shit. Um. I fuck with KD though, though, because he be. I just seen him on the DMV Hoods and News page. Mm -hmm. Like he coming, I I feel like he active with DC. He's always active. Yeah. That's one thing about KD. He makes like you said, makes your home is good yeah, for yeah. sure. Y'all got um, Super Bowl predictions? Packers, Chiefs. Mm. Mm. No more. Wait, who the Packers got play? Don't matter. Chiefs. Nah, they look real good. They play matter. the Saints Chiefs. or the Bucks. Oh, that much bad. I got Chiefs running that shit, bro. And I have Aaron Rodgers winning the second Super Bowl. Nah, Patty Mahomes ain't going like that. Smoking I got Chiefs running that shit. Patty Mahomes. I will bet. I will bet whatever you want. No, you want that. Aaron Rodgers is getting his second ring. Yes. Over Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Over the three-headed monster Travis Kelsey and Kareem. Why yes spells yes, right? Nah, it spells no. If if that shit true, I would drop a twenty-song mixtape. You heard it first. You heard it. You heard it here first. No exclusive, everyone. Never blame. If what Dre said is true, I drop a mixtape, twenty song. I put next tape. I drop twenty. Say songs less. On it. Say 20. less. Hold it. Y'all betting on the fact that Aaron Rodgers win the ring or Pat Mahomes beat him? I got Pat. If Pat come through, because Pat I'm gotta not go dropping. against the Browns. If That's Pat what I'm saying. come through, I'm not dropping shit. <laughs> <laughs> But if Dre is right, I go twenty. I give y'all twenty song tape. If Dre is right, I give y'all. You heard it. You heard it first. It's Every niggas listening. School of it's niggas listening to this saying, "Boy, I hope Aaron Rodgers <laughs> win to get that music." Birds, birds, <laughs> of, birds of words. Make sure that Dre is right. Y'all heard it. Yeah, Dre heard is first. right. I drop birds. Of I'm words. the prophecy. <laughs> this nigga wins one bet. No, one, I've won, won like up. like five in a row. Ride with me. If Pat wins, I, I'm winning a bet now. That's one. If Pat wins, take my honey, nigga. If Patrick wins, I pay that shit in July. In July, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I would like, I would like my, I would like my blue notes. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, not notes. No, don't, no. Don't, yeah, no. I said no. Oh, okay, make it sure. Don't, don't, know, don't, don't try know, to cash at me. You know, no, I want to know. I want my hundred. Because you're gonna try to cash. What you gonna do is try to cash at me. It's gonna be like one cent off. Nah, I want the exact. Now, I, pay, I pay you the Patrick You know Patrick Glenn and I don't drop no music, them people's gonna come at you though. Yeah. Hey, it ain't my fault. I don't control shit. No, you I, do. I, I predict. I, I don't play. <laughs> I don't play. Look how the hot, the seat got hot. I, no, it ain't hot. <laughs> it's, I, I don't play. I'm predicting the you future. can't tell. What do you mean? I'm convinced you got a Nets jersey in a warm up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a problem for you? Yeah, because you say you believe blue. I mean purple. I can have a favorite player and still have my team. Nets play, Nets play the Lakers in the finals. Who you rooting for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, I'm so I'm going with KD on that. I'm going with KD. It's like I'm not even thinking about this shit. I want KD to get a bucket, but I also want us to win. So I'm gonna just watch the watch. No, it's not that. Every time KD's touched the ball, I'm in the arena. Boo! Because you're a sucking ass nigga. No, I just love my purple and gold. What the fuck? Stop saying that, nigga. That's shit. Man, fuck, man. I want another nigga to beat my team for. He number best record in the league. Who can fuck about none of this shit? Jesus. You know who want super teams? That's cool. Who gonna guard AD? I don't really care. That's 100. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. This shit is me. You see how this is? Bro, what's wrong with you, bro? It's already over. Just get, get that shit get it out. <laughs> That's good enough. Nate, Nate, bro, it's already over. Yeah, He's not gonna average less than twenty six. Yes, <laughs> <that's enough. laughs> Nate dropping the table in March too. Oh, see, there you go. Another exclusive from Never Have a Lime. Yeah, street, the street there. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That, was, that <laughs> tone would be. That's so. We might have to put him on the tape. Yeah. Burger, burger. <laughs> They dropping the table in March. You gotta get him on the I might come through. I might come through next month. On the four pack tip. Okay. 
Me and Nash B another, might got a tape coming. Another exclusive. Me and Nate got a tape coming. Another exclusive. Boo Hager Tree Boo Up, Lil My Man Lil Boo Up got a tape coming. Next another week. exclusive. You ain't getting this from nowhere else. Man, tell you. <laughs> this nigga never blame. Never oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot shit. Oh, hot shit, Let man. The streets. We need that shit. Everybody yeah. niggas got anything else to do. Niggas yeah, still stuck man. in the house for real. For Unfortunately. And I know every time this music comes, y'all gonna appreciate it more. No, sure. These next first. two videos that's about to come. That joint with you and um and Nas look nice with a little snippet. That song nasty. Mm -hmm. Not even the video. The song was crazy. I made that song whole time the other day. I just when I was making that song with Nas, that's when we found out that Tay died. Mm. Mm. I was halfway in my verse. Mm. And I had to finish that wild ass shit. Yeah, so we did it like that. So we gonna drop that shit for Flock. Yeah, Flock. Flock was my man. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm glad it was a lot of people at this kind of right. Flock sure. was my man. That was the nigga. That was one of the niggas that was taking me and Sonny to the studio party like, every day. Mm -hmm. When niggas was curving us on that. So, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Flock. Rest in peace to Flock, man. Rest in peace to Tate, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do everything you told me to do, my man. Every time I see that nigga, that nigga telling me about music. I ain't yeah. even want to talk about music mm -hmm. that day. And he pull up on me listening to two best friends or something. And he telling me like, bro, stop doing what you doing, man. Get in get in get in the studio. He like, man, I got I'm off tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> I take you to the studio mm -hmm. and we go go in there. I'm gonna get me a six pack of Heineken Jones. Yeah. <laughs> or Coronas. And we go sit in that motherfucker. You don't get friends like that. You know what I'm saying? That stand behind everything you do. You don't get that on a regular basis. So to lose somebody like that is, is kind of crazy. Especially in the way that it happened. Like. Yeah, so we just gonna keep it rocking. Mm -hmm. Gonna keep it rocking. I know what Tay want niggas to do. Yep. And it ain't no crazy shit. Well, just, just do better. Yeah. Be better. Yeah, for sure. So we gonna keep doing. We gonna keep giving you that music. Like I said, we got a whole bunch of shit coming out. Whole bunch of videos. E told me don't drop no mixtapes. <laughs> you got a twenty pack coming. Well, I got when a twenty Pat, pack. Patty coming. Mahomes do the back to back. Yeah, I got Nate coming through with another with, with a mixtape coming soon. You probably gonna catch me on it. Man, we got a whole bunch of shit. Y'all supposed to be uh, the, the single drop. Birds drop. Uh, yeah, birds coming. Yeah. Is that birds another exclusive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever have blend? Yeah. That uh, shit is exceptional. Uh, must be nice. <laughs> that shit coming straight video. No song. You ain't going. You got to go watch the video to find it. Yeah, no, that's another exclusive. Yeah. Drake. <laughs> it's like the fifth one. <laughs> <laughs> now that's Clearly we're the yeah. shit. <laughs> you want to talk your shit? Never have a lane, man. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> do you hear that? Never have a lane. Exclusives are here. Yeah. I don't you want to drop them? I don't even do interviews, bro. Yeah, he don't do them. <laughs> this is probably my last joint till I catch this sack. Right, E? Yeah, yeah, bro. Hey. This is my last interview, right? Yeah, until we get a sack. Oh, God. Y'all niggas recorded, remember. It's my last interview until we get a sack. Heard that? Yeah. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> but on that note, man, appreciate you coming through. Trish is a hoe. Um, I'll be there. I'll be a hoe. I hope, I hope all y'all understand this. <laughs> this my boy right here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put him in the video. Trish make is a him, hoe. Make him a fucking narrator. You gotta put that in <laughs> You gotta put that nigga on the voicemail. Yeah, hey, voicemail. Hey, voicemail. Hey, Shorty, I told you, call me, bro. You call me, sir. Where the tape at? Where the tape at? I said, call me, bro. I miss you, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed you. I ain't mean to hurt you like that. I'm sorry. Yes, you bro. did. What the fuck? Shut up. I'm getting my shit off. Why is you chatting? Give me talk. Oh, shit. But nah, man. Nah, but nah, nothing. <laughs> you want to end the show? No. All right. It's your job. Do your job, Tristan. Your fucking job. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> hey, man. Appreciate you coming through. Been yeah. another episode of Never Hit This has been an exclusive with Little Else. Make sure Never Hit Blame. <laughs> Make sure you watch all the shit he just talked about. Yeah. Because it's coming, niggas. <laughs> like Bring the pain. <laughs> like and subscribe to YouTube, babe. Make you got sure y'all listen to click this shit. Click. Make sure you listen to that shit on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, man. Appreciate we it. everywhere! <laughs> we got that shit for you! Now
That is exclusive shit. Never have a lane. You hear me? Drop. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Yeah. Never hip a lame podcast.